I'm going to straight up pass out. I don't know what to expect. They're taking me on a roller coaster here. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications because honestly, it does help the channel out and it's very awesome of you to do. So thank you in advance. Now we are back with more Dreamcatcher. Why wouldn't we be? I'm absolutely hyped on these girls. I can't wait to continue my journey discovering their older stuff, the newer stuff, whatever it is. And I'm taking your lead with this one. In my last reaction, I said, where do I go next? And you said, you have to look at Fly High. And I believe it's a prequel to Chase Me. Um, so... I'm listening to you guys and I can't wait to get stuck into this one. Dreamcatcher, Fly High, music video. Let's see what you got. No, no. Yes. Okay. I'm getting such 80s aerobics vibes from this and it's awesome. Such a scene setter up front visually, musically, that nice moody piano drifting in and all of a sudden you can hear the wind up of that distortion. Usually on stage you'd take your volume knob and turn that up or you'd use your pedal. Um, you can hear it come in and then into something completely unexpected, but the vocal on top is that signature sound and I love it. I want to hear it again. Hang on. Um, I love this. I love this a lot. There is such a live band feel to this. Um, a lot of the accents that are being made in ordinary pop music, um, I'm not as familiar with K-pop, but with ordinary pop music, uh, you would hear a lot of those accents be really overly produced. Now, that's not a problem. It's just part of that signature sound. This is so different. This is what makes them unique. You can hear some of those cymbals ring and you can almost see that live band playing. There's a lot of layering to the guitars. There's at least two levels that I could hear there. There was one piece of lead work and nice chord ring out underneath that. Um, and I love how it's dropped again for this verse piece. But what I want you to listen to is the tempo of it. You can almost hear that offbeat work with the hi-hat. There is a bit of busyness at some points, but to have that kick hit and then have the hi-hat closed, really tightly closed, Nice little hits to keep the tempo, but it's off the beat of that kick. It's really nice. It allows a beautiful canvas for the um, vocals to be put on top. And I love what the guitar is doing too. It's all awesome. Shout out Palm Yut Gang. I'm going to stop there and let it play forward. This is how you build up a song. You set the mood, you punch hard with, you know, that that melodic, really nice, um, catchy piece up front when the whole band came in. That could play a bigger role later on. I imagine it would, at least at some points. Um, but then they've dipped down and quite subtle. Now the guitar layering is increasing. You can hear um, one level, which is doing, again, shout out Palm Gang, give me some Palm in the chat. But there's a nice delay on that. So you can hear some of those chords being echoed and played out as you can hear them dip but it's so busy that you never lose full um tonal value of that it's always present it's always right there it just sounds awesome and i love how this is produced it feels high quality but it feels live wait no Get 
Come on. Um, I am a sucker for great vocal melodies, uh, choruses. This is one of them. Love it. Um, I can hear it now at the end there, just as I stopped. I think it's going back into that beginning piece I was speaking about. So um, that is quite typical of the structure of a lot of songs where they show you, you know, something special up front and that latches onto the end of a chorus or at least becomes an evolution of it. So that's awesome. I love that little quick hip hop piece where it became a little edgier, harder. I could hear more kick work. Um, very short, you know, it was like one count of four, I think. And then they go away from it. I hope it comes back again because love that, love that element of them. Um, this chorus is special. You have the guitars working really hard to create the melodic backdrop, if you will. Um, and you've got that awesome synth work, those strings um, accenting uh, almost um, like a like a shadow on the vocals, one that drips off a little bit, one that's slightly delayed. Uh, it fills the gaps between some of the vocal pieces and it's really, really special. I like all of it. Um, get back in the zone, Chase. Uh, that's embarrassing. Um, let's go back. Yeah, that should be enough. One thing I want you to remember is um, a lot of bands will use certain instrumentation to uh, create a highlight piece and then it drips away. And uh, smart bands make sure that that is a continued theme where necessary throughout a song. So that mood setting with the piano and the key work up front, it's not just there, it's here too. And you can hear it. You can hear nice, um, some of the nice, like really delicate lead work there. That's typically your right hand, left is more your chords. And it's, um, you can hear it bouncing and playing uh, just towards the end of some of the phrasing in this verse. So have a listen out for it. It is quite busy. There's bass, there's guitar, there's drums, there's vocals. You have to work a little hard to hear it, but when you do, it's very worth it and you see its full value. I'm going to say it because I'm getting distracted here. This girl is absolutely lovely. How do you find such talented, beautiful human beings to all be part of a group like this? Mad. <laughs> I'm gonna straight up pass out. I don't know what to expect. They take me on a roller coaster here. Go back again. Um, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes there's like a shock value in certain things, and I think initially when you hear this group, that may be the case. Let me calm down. Let me just get back in position here. Um, that may be the case with this group. Uh, shock value in terms of one, the brilliance of them, and also that unique sound. Certainly not a gimmick. And um, you know, when they do something like that, where they get a bit heavy, and I'm thinking oh my god, are you going to break into something? And then no, they pull it right back again. We're not done with the song, there's loads to go, and I do think they are able of, able to surprise us. But one thing it does do for a listener, a first-time listener, is it puts you on edge. You're just so appreciative of the moment you're in because you don't know what's coming. And that is a credit and a genius to the guys who help produce this, the people who help write this, and certainly a credit to the engineers who mix and master it. <laughs> Oh, 
uh, quickly over here. This this little vocal piece here, and I love that they. I'm I'm such a fan of this vocal melody in the chorus. It's actually stupid. There, there's something, and I don't quite know how to explain it. So I've been thinking about a lot of this kind of writing. Um, there's certain melodies that stick with people, and there's 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 actually to some degree a science as to what creates something that's hooky or memorable um, and that has a lot to do with phrasing timing the pitch of it um, and the cycle um, and and it, but then there's something more there's like magic on top it's like it's like it's like sprinkling magic powder on top and it's something that you can't really explain but i love the way that this vocal transitions um through some of the the key that it's in but also sitting on the pace of the music it's just Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, that vocal effect is like that radio effect that you're going to hear that's coming up in a little bit. Um, and it's basically where you take all the, uh, the lows and low mids out. You left the, some of the highs and some of the high mids, and then you put it through like a you know very midi funnel. There's a bit of clipping on it. It sounds like almost radio interference with someone who's talking through a walkie-talkie that's very far away. And um, it's cool. Just a nice addition, just a nice sharpness to it that uh, wasn't necessarily there for the previous setup. Okay, so, um, you know, much lighter music and video with a hint of ominous to it, um, which I'm trying to link as it, it being a prequel. And I haven't really necessarily watched everything in the right order. I've tried to, but uh, definitely much more innocent at for the most part. But there were parts of that visually with the magnifying glass. There were parts of it musically where it was building up to create like a nice hype piece um, where you thought, oh, there's something sinister there's a sinister undertone to a lot of this um and it's it's just awesome i love the storytelling i love the effort the absolute effort and i know that they just hit a million subs on um youtube and well done it's very very long overdue in my opinion um and i know i'm just a new fan anyway but i am greatly appreciative to be on this journey and for you guys to be so receptive and so welcoming and so warm I am grateful for you all and I can't wait for the next one. Once again, please, I am listening to you guys on this. Where do I go next? What's the next song in the journey? And um, if you can, please put a link to the video. It helps me out a lot. It makes my life quite easy when I'm trying to rush and set up schedules to film in the morning before work. So until then, please be safe, be nice to each other and have a damn good day. Mm -hmm.